In this tutorial, we'll explore one of Drupal's core themes, Bardic. You'll learn to recognize the Bardic theme and identify its primary features, as well as explain the use case for Bardic and what you can learn from it. Let's explore this theme and its main features and see what we can learn. If you've ever installed Drupal before, you'll recognize this theme with its blue gradient banner and a DrupalCon icon at the top. Starting with version 8 of Drupal, the theme features several responsive web design features. This is most evident in the menu and layout. As you can see, there are several ways in which menu items are displayed, depending on the size of the viewport. And the layout changes from one column to two columns as the screen gets wide enough to accommodate the multiple columns. If I access Bardic's theme settings from the appearance menu and the settings link underneath the theme name, you can see that Bardic also features a customizable settings page going above and beyond the global settings that Drupal provides. Bardic features an integration with the color module and with it enabled, you can modify the color schemes of a Bardic based theme. You can choose from the color set here or you can use the color picker to change the colors for each field. Why would you want to explore Bardic? Well, it's a good example of how to create a custom theme. You can see the principles of Drupal theming in action. It's Drupal's default theme and the first theme you'll see when you install Drupal. And you can see how Drupal implements responsive features in a theme. There's more to exploring Bardic than just seeing how things look in a browser. To learn the most from Bardic, open your favorite text editor or IDE and navigate to core slash themes slash Bardic. First, let's take a look at Bardic's info file. Open bardic.info.yml. And here you'll find examples of how a theme can define meta information, indicate a base theme, attach libraries, specify style sheets for CK editor, and define regions. Now let's explore Bardic's template files. Navigate to the templates directory and take a peek inside. Here you'll find all of the template files that Bardic has overridden and customized. A good place to start is with page.html.twig. Notice how Bardic's regions, which we saw defined earlier in bardic.info.yml, are output via the page array using twig. Another useful example that Bardic provides is how to attach CSS libraries to a theme. Take a look at bardic.libraries.yml and notice how all of Bardic's CSS files in its CSS directory are listed here under the global styling key. Check out the links in this tutorial to learn more about attaching CSS and JavaScript libraries to your theme. Drupal 8 themes can employ preprocess hooks, a special type of PHP function in Drupal where you can alter variables before you print them out in Twig template files. These functions live in the themes.theme file. Bardic again provides a nice example of how a theme can employ preprocess hooks. Even though the extension is .theme, this is a PHP file containing PHP functions, mostly preprocess hooks. In bardic.theme, you'll find a variety of preprocess hooks that alter and add variables to various template files. Once again, see the links in this tutorial to learn more about how to employ preprocess hooks in your theme. As we saw earlier, Bardic is a responsive theme. This theme takes it a step further and also defines its breakpoints in bardic.breakpoints.yml. This is so that other modules such as responsive image module can access and utilize this theme's breakpoints and help you create responsive image styles. Take a peek at bardic.breakpoints.yml. Notice there are several breakpoints to find in this file, named mobile, narrow, and wide. Back on your Drupal 8 demo site, head over to extend and enable the core responsive image module. With this module enabled, now navigate to configuration and find the settings page for responsive image styles under the media section. Click the add responsive image style and for the breakpoint group, select Bardic. Notice how the breakpoints and media queries defined in bardic.breakpoints.yml correspond with those listed in the field sets now displayed under breakpoint group. To learn more about breakpoints in Drupal, find the related link in the written version of this tutorial. As you can see, there are a number of other files and components in Bardic for you to explore. Exploring this theme and its files can be quite instructive, especially in conjunction with our Drupal 8 theming guide, where you can dive deeper into Drupal theming concepts and techniques. 
In this tutorial, we explored and toured Bardic, identified several of its main features, and discussed why it's useful to explore this theme, primarily because of how it sets an example as a well-developed, configurable Drupal 8 responsive theme. You can find links to tutorials that cover the concepts mentioned here in the written version of this tutorial.